that's one of the crazy dolls. Oh yes, he did it. It's a lovely relaxing day at the Baz's house. There's something moving in the bushes back there. Let's see how good it is from Topolino Terrace. Welcome to a new day in Florida. Hey up. <laughs> um, we oh, for Barry's purposes. We're I know. a bit nervous. Here's Barry. We're a bit nervous this morning, aren't we, Nick? I'm not hungry anymore. Because <laughs> Barry's taking us out for breakfast. I'm treating you. Yeah. Because you treated me to a happy hour. Um, but what have you said? Where, where, where? You've got three choices. Oh, All right. You can pick online now. Vote below. You've got three choices I'm going to give you. Number one. Yeah. Petrol station. Okay. Number two, 1990s iDrive. Or number three, Americana, um, what's the right word? Kind of greasy spoon sort of um, diner. Americana diner. I quite like the idea of 1990s. Yeah, 90s. What, what do you mean by 1990s? You'll see when you walk in the building. It's like it's never changed. Okay. Oh, so it's like Applebee's or something like that then? Mm. We'll decide on the Is route. It and then we're off to uh, Universal to do some mini golf. What's this all about? Vegemite? Yeah, it's from Australia, from uh, Paula. Yeah. And it's, um, it's a bit like a... It's, it's like Marmite. It's like Marmite. 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 This is Vegemite. Yes. We've tried it before. Do you not like it? Mm. I don't think I so. I do. Was that what Stacey had? It. Has it opened? No, she had Marmite, did Stacey. No, it's not. Oh, it's sealed. Yeah. Right, we'll have to try it. We'll have, to, we'll have to go in your hand luggage, I'm afraid. Uh, not hand luggage, your case, because mine's full. Right, we're kind of maybe wishing we went for the 90s option, which we said we were going to go for, but they said it was Perkins, which we've been to many times. So come to the second option. Well, this actually, looks like Perkins after a nuclear war. <laughs> it's called Mr. Quick Restaurant. I would read the sign, but all the letters have dropped off. These guys have been before and they said it's good food, so we'll see. It's Optin Till 3, Big Burger Effie, Breakfast, Lunch, Din U, Special. L. Here's the menu of Mr. Quick's restaurant. <coughs> Very um, good prices. Classic breakfast is only $5.99. Speciality breakfast. I think I'm going to go for an omelette. Oh, they do quite like the sound of a you classic don't want breakfast. You liver and onions? Give me omelette. Oh, liver and onions, no. I'm gonna get um, bacon and cheese omelette. It's a very, um, as it keeps pointing out the, um, how can you word it? The highlights. Yeah. The highlights, like the light fittings. The broken light fitting, the <laughs> security with, with, with the wires dangling yes. down. But, um, and, well, to be fair, my mum used to have a wall decorated in that wood when I was little, I remember it. Proper American diner. Looking forward to my food. <laughs> It's very conservative, that Maxine. I know. Compared to mine, <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I've raided the farmyard. Yeah, yeah. The chickens yeah. must have been an overtime to you do this. Yeah, that's you. I got two wheat toast. They sausage patties. You regular yeah. or do you care? What did you get? Um, scrambled eggs, hash browns, you get sausage, and I'm waiting for my wheat toast. I've got wheat toast as well. Right, for all our four breakfasts and the drinks and everything, it is $45.71. I'll get this one. <laughs> Plus tip. So this place is 47 years old, it just asked me. It first opened in 1976 and it's got all the original tables and things like that. Yeah, by the looks of it, you can see on the table it's quite worn. This one here. I bet over the years they've had like, I bet each table's had over like a million people sat at them. Good food, yeah. good prices, good lovely warm I think we should get that warm part in for the, uh, for the van instead of the smash back. It's too heavy. <laughs> very satisfied with that breakfast. Oh, very stuff now. Very nice, friendly people. It reminded me of Egg City, but yeah. smaller. Yeah, definitely. But I like how it's um, like untouched with the uh, the passage, passage of, time. of time. It's literally this, exactly the same as it was when it opened in 1976. It looks as old as Lee did. Right, we're on his way to Universal. It's just 5.5 miles away. So if anybody wants to come and try this diner, that's it's just literally like Wooden Road almost. Mr. From Quick's Universal. Restaurant, it's called. Yeah. Just checking out um, the um, extortionate prices. <laughs> 
at Universal. $30 for a car, $60 for Prime, $40 for a bus or an RV. And tonight it is free only after midnight because Halloween Horror Nights is on. Right, we're guessing um, Spider Man. You've know, gone Spider Man. No changing. Leo says Cat in the Hat. Uh, Leo, I said King Kong. Leo I'll, changes mind, whatever no, he says. No, no, I'll go for. Uh, uh, we'll go for E.T. E.T. And, and you are be wrong with E.T. because it's a busy day. So. All right, so what you got? I suppose you had a second choice. Hulk. Oh, you never know, yeah. actually. If I don't, they might put us oh, down here. Oh, hang on a minute. So just cut through the yeah. I think it changes at the yeah, midsection. Yeah, I think you just cut through. Lee was driving to do that in cost. He threw some cones. Park it here. Just <laughs> make sure we're in the same one, yeah. Cat in the hat, it looks yeah, like we're in. Which is Maxine's choice. Maxine's the winner. Did you cheat? No. Well, you accuse well. me of cheating every time. Here we go. Feels funny coming to Universal and knowing we're actually not going into Universal. No. It's very strange, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that's one of the crazy dolls. I think, as far as I remember, there's two courses. So we're going to have a look at which one we're going to do. Driving golf. Invaders from planet to put. I actually thought it was a real car then. I was thinking, is this real? Because it's got, a, uh, got pedals. Yeah. Right, so there we go. That is uh, the prices. Is 18 holes or 36 holes? It's 19.99 per adult. At the moment, the left-handed one is haunted, so we're going to go for that. If you want to do both courses, you've got to add another 16.99, um, and then you can do 36 holes. We're just going to do 18. And we're going to go for the haunted of ghostly greens. One, two, four, three. I like the um, right, two. special First golf two. balls. I want one of them. I want Pikachu. Right, just getting his coloured balls and our clubs and uh, we're ready to go. Right, so here's the two um, courses. That's the um, sci-fi one. And this is the one that's got a haunted Halloween overlay on, so we're going with this one. Is it always haunted or is it usually the Hollywood Well, I don't, it could be haunted. I, I suppose it, it, it could be haunted all the time because we've never done it, so I don't know. So close! Both Bazaar and Lee have done it in two. Me and Maxine are the furthest away. Let's see if Maxine can get it in in two. Oh. Yeah, no pressure's on! No pressure, Nick. But I ain't gonna do this in two because I can't get it behind. We can move it away, but it's a, it's a stroke. No, it's not. Oh, very well, yes. Yeah, so it looks like it's not a Halloween over overlay, it's just haunted all the time. We always yeah. thought this was, because of that house, it I always thought it was like, like a media house. Or Casper. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe because of that. Yeah. I love that it's haunted, uh, of course. As those balls have packed up. Sounds like Maxine Snow, That sounds like Lee, actually. Go on, Lee. See what you get. Oh! oh so what's like mine and Lee's are the closest to the uh, to the hole. The nearest. Let me get to this side. Oh! You might as well. Three for Lee. This one you've got to get through there. Oh, bloody hell, that was good. I think we should do extra points for getting it through the small hole. Oh, that was an interesting thing. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> Lee's turn. Go on, Lee, go for the mouse hole. Be daring. I did it. I should have gone for the mouse hole. Get it through, that's too big. Oh, right. Nice one, that's gonna be look at that one. Oh, up. Yeah, well, good luck with that. That's one of your that's one of your scars to get oh, it right, right into the, the corner. So on this one, if you miss the hole at the top, it comes out the side anyway. So if you're going for the side, you might as well have an attempt to go in for the top. You, you, you never know, you might get the hole and then um, closer to the final hole. Maxine just having a go. Oh, she's going to pop out here. 
There we go. None of us have hit the hole. Going in the mouth, Nick. Am I a bit too far out here? Yeah? A little bit. Very close. Yeah, go to where these. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, you can do the same. Yeah. Nobody else wants this. Got ink? Yep. Oh. oh, no. Skimmed it. Go on, get it in. You might as well just get it in. <laughs> Two. Two. Whoa! <laughs> Bata just got a hole in one. Maxine did it in three. Lee's just gone in. Get ready to jump up and down if he does it. Oh yes, he did it. Right, this one's this one's got a surprise. Ooh. Oh, I can see that. This one's got a surprise, and it's not the uh, the squirting heads. Oh, 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 missed. Too hard. Oh, oh! <laughs> Whoa! Ah, ah, woo! <laughs> Baza got squared. Now, apparently, if you get the hole in there, there's a fan underneath that can blow it out, so even though you've got it in, it might not work. It totally depends on whether you uh, trigger some kind of sensor. One, two if you pick it up. Oh, you rubbish. Yeah, that technically classes as a score. Good shot there, Baza. Straight back to where I started. It teaches you technique. <laughs> oh. This is an interesting one. It's amazing. You've got to go all the way around. Is it all the way around the other side? So the key with this one is to bounce it off the wall, which everybody has, who's tried to do has failed. Barry's <laughs> and, and him are like the mating in the corner. How are we going to hit them? I don't know, but mine is going to go through. Barry's decided to play a bit of snooker. Oh, <laughs> <It's close. laughs> this reminds me of Harry Potter when they're doing the uh, screaming plants. Ooh, so close. I've got at least one. Right, so this one, you've got to get it up the steps. How the hell do you get it up there? Then there's, just whack it up. And then one of the two steps, and then somehow it ends up inside the uh, Minion's house. Right, let's go. It's not the Minion's house, is it? It is. It is, I've said it is. Here it comes, oh, quick. <laughs> yeah, that not quite worked. It's a practice shot. <laughs> well, it's cost you a point. Did it go in? Is that your second practice shot? I think we're all going to get picked on this one. Has it gone in? It's gone in. And then it runs in here. And comes through one of the holes in the wall. And then we'll pick up with you on the way back. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to be a good shot, that. Dan. This is part two, this. Yeah, no way. Success? It must be fluke. Part two? Well, yeah, fluke two. That's it. Some ghost watching us there. 
So it's come inside the Minions house and it's the laboratory. Lee's going to go first. So it looks like you have to hit it into there. It is the Minions house. It is? I thought it was. <laughs> well, I've called it that, yeah, but I don't think it is. So what happens here? It goes up that. <laughs> Where? What is it? There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's on the uh, little lift. And then it'll go up a chute. This is going to take a while. It's on the, it's on the lift. Across the top. <laughs> it's like that Chip Chip Bam Bam scene where he's trying to make an egg omelette. Where's it gone now? There. <laughs> It's like the goonies when um Yeah. Oh cheat cheat bang bang. Oh yeah. Where, eh? Where's yeah, it going out? It's gonna come out here, watch your feet. Where's the hole? Yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Where's the hole? Right, Nick's just um adding up and you get one of these. Scratch. What do we win? You get scratch off cards, thank you for playing. And they never expire, it'd be like money off another game. Yeah. 20% off, off any, any retail item. 10% yeah. off, 15 off the golf ball. ball. Oh, okay. I quite like these golf balls, if I play golf. Buy one, get one free golf. Oh, that's good. That's, not right. that's very good. Keep that one. So they never expire. Yeah. Another one. Buy one, get one free oh, golf. That's good. Go on, right. Come on, Nick. The highest, the highest score winner, so the loser, so loser it, yeah. is Lee at 56. Oh, no. Second oh, well, highest for me. is Maxine at 51. The third loser is Bazza <laughs> at 50. Yeah. And I got 46. Yeah. First time yeah. ever that I've won that, ever. Yeah. Well done. I enjoyed that. I like the haunted. I'll give him the card to, to check it, it later. Uh, you can buy one, get one free. Yeah, yeah and then we got some buy one, get one free. Ooh, what do you do with that? Wait, bring it back. Never expire. Bring it back next time. Oh, right, okay. That vlog was years in the making. It took us years and years to do that. We've actually said it since the year 2000 yeah. when we first came that we were going to do the crazy golf at Universal and we've never done it. I love the fact and that we've got it off as list. Like scratch cards and we've got buy one get one free for the next time we come. Yeah, down. and they don't expire as well apparently. So, uh, so there we go. Shows you moves. <laughs> Nick's just trying a quick silver t-shirt and I like it. Put it on backwards. Turn it around. Yeah, I like that. It feels a bit big. It's medium, but it feels a bit big. Mm. Think? Not my favourite t-shirt I've ever seen you in. But you were. First time we've ever been in um, this uh, shop. It's quite good. Although we've found nothing that uh, we want. Wow, look at that caramel pecan cinnabon roll. Regular iced coffee cups with Prima. We're just getting um, some um, coffee from Cinnabon. Right, we're just going to have a quick uh, look in the Universal Legacy store uh, before we head back because we're actually going out tonight uh, to some friends. Uh, so we're just going to have a little mooch in here. Here's the E.T. Um, ride. Frosty type. Looks like it's made out of lollipop sticks and coat hangers and balsa wood. I love how they've done that. Look at that to represent smoke. It's cotton wool with a bit of colouring in. And then look at this, like a fire hydrant. If we like had like resin. a big attic or something, I think you'd be... Uh, well, you know, oh, you think you'd have a train set? Yeah, I no. think you'd love it, like a little model I'd have a village. Christmas display. Yeah. I'm going to get that. For the dashboard. I'm going to change the sat now and shove that on it. <laughs> Pretend it's on the, the van. Maybe we should call the van DeLorean a scrap tailor. How much is it? Um, it is $40. Freaking out for a bit of plastic. But that would fit exactly where it is, wouldn't it? Every time we come in here, we always see something different. So this is from the Mummy ride, I presume. Oh yeah, it is because you've got the Mummy um, baddie there. Some Girls, if you're watching there. this. Uncle Lee didn't buy you it. Not going to the back. You're just trying to justify it. You haven't even looked at price yet. No. How much? Twenty three ninety nine. For a kid's twenty four ninety nine. Unless that's for the um, t-shirt. Well, the hats are seventeen ninety nine. So. Can't see a price on them. Well, there. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry girls, the $72 <laughs> each. Yeah, they need to change that because that t-shirt ain't <laughs> 30 for that price either, it's 35 What's this? What is it? It creates that, but what is it? Is it wax? Uh -huh. $8 for this shark head. But I can't, well, no, it must be plastic. It must be plastic because it's... Well, it just like pops a, out. Well, it's between this press mm. and then it pops into this little drawer at the end. And it says we recommend that adults remove it just in case you either break it or it's too hot. 
Right, it was just a little um, look around the uh, merch store. We're heading back out. We don't have universal tickets this time. It feels wrong being uh, here and not being able to go out. in. It's like torment. It's nice that you can just still come to City Walk, even though you don't have tickets to go and do the um, cinema or golf and just some restaurants and stuff like that. Look As around usual, the merch it's stores. very, very busy. Yeah, but it's a nice, lovely temperature today. It's just, it's, we're not even needed this fans. perfect, absolutely perfect. So that's the sci-fi side. We'll have to try that next time. What, 23 years from now? Well, since we came last, we tried one side. Halloween Horror Nights all queuing to get in there. Glad we're not going there tonight. So they'll be penned into the um, area of Universal in about an hour, waiting for it to start, one of the first houses. And all the way on the other side as well. Mad. Okay, come down here. Turn them right here. Go all the way down Wallace. And come across and down south of Potka, you'll miss uh, Sand Lake. A little bit later, just had a half an hour chilling. Nick's even got into bed. Um, we are going out tonight to some friends for a meal um, with the Bazers. I'm not taking the camera, we're just going to enjoy a uh, night off from filming. Um, so we'll probably see you in the next um, scene, which is probably in the morning, unless I do a little bit when we get back from tonight. Welcome to the next day. It's a lovely, relaxing day at the Bazers house. 7 a.m. <laughs> Not really, but that has been there since 7 a.m. Yes. Um, Baz has buggered off. Baz has pulled. Gone to a hell spy. Yeah. Maxine says this happens quite a lot when there's work to be done. He disappears, work trips, and then comes back when the work's done. Mm. Funny that. Right, we are heading out to a um, Circle B Reserve Spa. I'll tell you more it's about it. not spa. It. Not spa. <laughs> it's because you just said spa. Yeah, you can get Circle in the spa with, with alligators. Um, I'll tell you more about it when we're in the car. Yes, so welcome to a new day in Florida. We're doing something a little bit different today. We are going to somewhere called Circle B Reserve. Um, now it's sort of walking trails, hiking trails, which I wish I'd have kind of known before I put my white shoes on. Um, and you go on these walking trails and you see lots of animals. So apparently you are almost guaranteed to spot some alligators either in the water or just walking by. Um, as you walk in, so there you go. We're gonna see some alligators and whales, raccoons, birds, little mini pigs, apparently, as well. Woodpeckers, woodpeckers, and um, just apparently, it's a really nice place just to um, chill and um, take the some park. time away from the park. Yeah, and um, just have a little It's 23 relax. degrees today as well. It's 23 degrees today, it's really nice temperature today. The sun isn't out and the air isn't warm, the humidity has gone away and it's just really nice like and pretty uh, summer. cool, yeah. So we're going to go and check that out and then later t tonight, well this, this afternoon, sort of evening, um, we are going to Topolino's uh, at the Riviera Resort, which we've been meaning to do for many times, we've just never got around to it. We've finally booked it and we go in. Are we going to have a meal or is it snacks? Meal. So we're going to have a meal there. Uh, so we've got to get that back Is that the one that. where you've got to, you can only use your magic band if you've got a reservation to make the lift go up? I don't know, I think it is. We'll find out anyway. Well then, put a magic band on a view. We're we'll going back to get changed. Oh, okay. Reserve, we're here. That just came out of nowhere. No, it's not been an, a, a bad drive whatsoever. So, this looks like the entrance then. Yeah. It's actually an old cattle ranch, 1250 acres, which is actually twice the size of uh, Fort Wilderness. As far as I'm aware, you it's free ride. to get in. Yep, I think it is. Nature Centre. Right, let's see what's this, what this is about. And a lot of people said during the week it's very quiet. Yeah, so quiet. It, it sure. looks like <laughs> it. So we've just got to be careful on as Wade walks around. What? There's a nature discovery centre here. What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Careful while we walk around. Because well, for animals and alligators. Do you drive around or do you walk around? You walk. So what's do we park here or? Um, this looks like it's one of the trails. Just keep an eye out for animals. Very green. Mm. 
It's like New Orleans with the trees. Well, I wouldn't quite say that. Well, I meant the trees like in Spanish, Spanish moss. moss. Yeah. Let's have a look. I presume it's down here. Visitors must con must stay on the designated path. It says. Yes. That's fine. We're not going to be. Uh, going or you into may bush. get eaten. So I presume there's a visitor centre, you said? No pets permitted. You can't bring your animal here because it might uh, get eaten. Get eaten. Freaking hell, look at those trees. I think in here it's like forbidden forest. So you drive a fair way in there. Mm. Well, there's a lot of cars ahead, cars, so I presume yeah. it's uh, the visitor centre. We'll get a map there as well. You can actually download the map online. This is not it. Otter parking. Let's have a look, where is it? See what it says. Otter parking. Park only inside concrete edge. Hmm. There is no concrete. Right, this looks like the main um, parking area and uh, discovery centre. Sister, park in one way. All right, let's okay. get parked up. Right, let's park up. Right, we're making our way up to the nature discovery centre and see what this is all about. Um, I don't think there's a cafe here when I was Googling. But uh, let's have a look on these boards. It tells you a little bit more about it. So Discovery Centre here has learned more about the uh, wildlife. Yes, that's the kind of shoe we should have put on today, rather than bright white um, shoes. Leave alligators and other wildlife alone. Yes, yeah, so protect yourself from mosquitoes, biting flies, ticks and chiggers. Ew. It says here, protect yourself from mosquitoes, biting flies, ticks and chiggers. Chiggers? Yeah. Well, we haven't done. I know we haven't. So it's a 1,267 acre environmental area. It was once a cattle ranch purchased by the Polk County and the Southwest Florida Water Management in 2000. Right, so the visitor centre is not open today on a Monday. It's open Tuesday to Saturday and Sunday, so every day apart from today. But they've got maps outside. You can still walk around. Yeah, for us to have a look at. And typically it's Monday. Yes. And Google says it would open. But um, let's get on some trails and see what we can find. Just looking out for things. <laughs> The end. The end? Mm. So what trail is this? Look at the trees. What? Eh? what? <laughs> the trees just fascinate me with all the Spanish moss on. It's very cool today. It's almost, in fact, cold. Might have uh, needed to put my hoodie on. What's up there? The water's edge. The water cycle. Picnic areas with um, barbecues by the looks of it. So it is concreted. It looks like you can come in wheelchairs. I've just seen a person in a wheelchair walking around. Half mile to the lake. All right, okay. The lake this way. Kind of wish I put my hoodie on, don't you? Right, here's the wingspan of a bald eagle. We saw that on a, on a trip on the October I think trip. Last it year, was with Sunday. Trip. It was with Sunday in uh, Pilot oh, Mountain. Mountain. Put, your, put your arms out and see if it's as bigger than you. Nowhere near. Yeah. It's very peaceful and quiet here. So if you do want to get some time away from the parks, the hustle and bustle of the parks, it's. Um, Quite a decent place to come. Um, it is Memorial Day today, um, so Columbus Day. a Columbus Day. Sorry, today. Yes. Um, so um, I imagine it's going to be very busy in the parks today, which is why we've stayed away and um, come here instead. Not seen any wildlife yet. We can hear it quite a lot, but um, oh, hear birds and, birds and, and like something. crickets and things. Yeah. Something moving in the bushes back there. The grass is moving. The grass is moving. Oh my god, what is it? 
It's coming out. Oh my god, get away. It's coming towards us. Oh, I've just seen something. It's. I think it's a rabbit. A rabbit? There's two. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's coming. It's coming. Stand on that. Get on that quick. <laughs> it's something there. Where? There. Oh, it's a raccoon. A raccoon? Oh, Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a raccoon. Oh, there's another one there. It's like a family of raccoons. Oh, there's another one there, baby. Let me zoom in. Oh. I don't know if they're vicious or not, but they're cute. I will keep away. There we go, let's run into a bush. Another one! Oh, look at me. There's one, two, three, four. Raccoons. And some more here. Bush, here. Yeah, that's another one. What would you do if it just darted for us? <laughs> oh, he's here, look you. He's here. Aww. Another one? Oh my god, another. Another one behind it there. That's at least ten. How cute. Look at his little face. Oh, they're going to come out. I hope they're friendly. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's just past. there. Oh. Out, I don't know if they're friendly or not. <laughs> Keep back. Let them cross. It's just there. They're all going to cross. Oh. Keep still. Keep still. Oh, they do look vicious, I must say. That's two. Three. A couple more heading this way. So we counted ten, didn't we? Um, no, I don't think there are that many. Well, there's four there. Oop, five. Another one. I know, that's five in total, that. I just think, oh, one here. Uh -huh. I just think Guardians of the Galaxy. At least they're scared of us rather than. Aww. Hello. Listen to that. Achoo. That one next sneezing. Right, it looks like we're heading into Alligator Alley. So, um, keep an eye out. Ooh. Alligators live here. <laughs> keep hearing lots of like noises, water noises. Water on both sides. Yeah, there is. What? Eh? What? Oh, yeah. I don't mind big birds. Yeah, there's water on either side. Oh, the sun's coming out. The sun's coming out at least. Ooh, friggin' hell. <laughs> I'm looking around for things. You know, that's a, no a noisy bird. Want to at least see an alligator while I'm here. Well, me too, but I don't want to be eating what I want. It said on the website you're almost guaranteed to see them. Yeah. Something in this tree. I hope I'm not getting bit to death. Well, I don't think that's going to... Alter it. Not seen anything yet, but I bet we've passed some. There we are. 
so quiet out here. Past a couple of people, but not many. Oop, what it's got a fish in its mouth. She's gone under. Them. Spiders' nests, maybe. Oh, maybe cocoons, moth cocoons. They're everywhere. Mm. Hello, birdie. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Probably there's some people ahead looking at something. Yeah. Maybe it's a gator. Oop. What was that? No, no, there's something down there then. There's a large family back there with kids and all sorts, so uh, families do come here with the younger kids. <laughs> Just gotta keep an eye on them, aren't you? It's very green on the right hand side with all the algae. We keep seeing lots of um, logs, which we think are alligators, but they're not. Like that. Whatever that is, that's noisy. Right, so we were just walking on the path and a couple of girls said, uh, you're about to come to a gate. We thought she said a gator. She actually meant a gate. Uh, and she oh, said it's closed off. Well, she did say gate, didn't she? Oh yeah, there's a bird there. Just with its wings open. So she said there's a gate ahead. We assume she meant gator. Can you? So according to the map, this road kind of continues. But there's nothing on- When she says there's a gate ahead. Like, oh, is that well, yeah, when, she, when you said gator <laughs> head, she said, is, this, is it in the path or on the, in the river? She goes, it's closed, and I'm like, eh, that didn't make sense. And then afterwards, we realized what she meant. Um, but the, the gate's not got a sign on it saying you can't cross it or open it. So, and according to this map, it does carry on going. So, we'll see when we get there. There's a bench there. How about sitting on that? Oh, no, it's too close to water. That far too close to the water, it's too close to bushes and all. So, so far. It's quite disappointing because we haven't seen any uh, any gators. I'm sure they're all around us. Lots of logs, and we've bricked it a few times and done a log of his own. But um, they'll be there, hiding in the bushes, waiting to feed. Trails closed. That's a shame because it's halfway down um, Alligator Alley. Yeah. Right. The Marsh Rabbit Run and portion of the Alligator Trail are closed until further notice. The recent closure of the trails is necessary for the safety of our visitors and resident wildlife. Visitors may still access the dock on Lake uh, Hancock by hiking the Shady Oak Trail okay. to the Lock and Run. Okay. Right. 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 We're going to walk back. Back from where we came from. Hopefully we'll see something. Well, my shoes were white when I started. More of a shade of grey now. Noise is just like an electrical cable, isn't it? It's like walking under a pylon, doesn't it? And it just gets louder for a bit. And then quietens down. What are you seeing? A log. A log. <laughs> There's that's, one that's just not a log there, an alligator. It's not just, a log, is it? No, it's not a log, that's definitely an alligator's head. Right, let me get a video. Just laid there, for sure. Yay, we found one. Hey, Mr. Gator. So the couple behind us just said they've seen a massive alligator just around here, and it was just like watching sat on them. the bank, watching them, but then it went under, so they decided it was time to leave the area. And it was just around this big tree, this big tree they said. Goodness knows how they saw it. Probably in this area here, I would imagine. Look at the frigging size of that bird out, out on end. It's a heron, isn't it? It's massive. Is it heron? I don't know. Big bugger, I won't like crossing. Right, we're just going to have a look at the Lost Bridge, which it says is frequently underwater. It don't look like it's too far, maybe a couple of hundred yards. We ain't going much further. Yeah. Then I might bridge past the lost underwater and all. Mm. Turn around. Oh well. We had a look at the lost bridge, we which is lost. Like sounds in the sides of the bushes that sound like rattlesnakes. 
Yeah, I you hope not. <laughs> you can just hear so many different sounds as you're walking. So you can get trams and trolley tours um, during the week. Obviously not today because the visit centre is closed. Um, but uh, freaking hell, it just looks like one at Disney. I, know. I suppose <laughs> it's hit and miss as to what animals you see and depending yeah. on what day and the, the weather. And but if you go on a tour, you might see more because it'll take you maybe, sort of yeah. like further in. Um, but um, we've enjoyed our time here. Don't know whether we have a cafe or not inside, obviously because we couldn't get inside, but we have got plans to go somewhere for a coffee. Right, not something I'd ever say back at home, but I'd say it here, we've not been to our favourite gas station yet. Wow, wow. Oh, what would that... be your favourite gas station at all? Uh, probably co-op, because they've got the, <laughs> the, the shops on with them. And the chuckings. Um, but over here it's wow, wow, oh, as I like to call it. Wow, 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 wow. Well, I, I prefer a racetrack. Wow, wow, wow. Because um, it's not Swirl World. Well, yeah, but Wawa's got lovely coffee, like every variety of coffee that you want. Might get like, I'm doing, might, what time is it? Oh, it's 20 past one, it might be a bit late, apparently. Um, Baza says they do a really nice breakfast sandwich at Wawa's. I hope they do a foot long hot dog because I really fancy a gas station, cheap gas station food. Um, so if you've never been to Wawa's, I'll show you around if I can when I get there. And uh, hopefully they do an iced coffee because I fancy an iced coffee actually. Right, here we are. Wow, wow, it looks like quite a big one. Well, there's lots of spaces, and they've got outdoor seating. Outdoor seating? Yeah. Well, they, they usually do, don't they? If they uh, provide some food so you can uh, mm, eat outside. Starving. Ooh, snacks and go wraps, or Wow, wow has pizza. Oh, pizza. Right, so they have morning sandwiches, which is, looks like croissants, um, egg, and cheese, three seventy nine, and then you've got the Mexican version of the burritos. Don't know if they've got any left. However, is that pizza? Or is that, oh that's a pepperoni cheese melt, croissant, ooh nice. You've got all your fresh stuff, really fancy some, um, ooh, not that, mango blend maybe? I don't know. Just gonna have a mooch around, see what's available. And then um, I'm gonna go to the counter, see what the uh, see the pizzas are ready. Freestyle machines, and then iced coffee, this is what Lee's gonna be getting, an iced coffee. And then you've got this slushy machine. Not as big a range as um, racetrack, or 7-Eleven, and then you've just got your usual convenience stuff, drinks, booze, crisps, all your healthy stuff. And then over here, oh, it's self-checkout here. So let's go and have a look at the nice stuff. Right, so that's what's on the menu. Hot hoggies, club sandwiches, KS, quesadillas, bowls. Oh, it's gone I've off. got fruit bowls, I've yeah. got fruit bowls. What do you think I am? Healthy. I don't think so. I want pepperoni pizza, I've decided. Have you seen all the coffee? Let's have a look down here. Like literally every flavour coffee under the sun. Look at all the Every flavoured milk. Irish cream, hazelnut, Ooh. light cream, French vanilla. Decaf hazelnut, French. I'm not a fan cappuccino and hot chocolate. I'm not a big fan of flavoured coffee, I just like my decaf art. It's yeah. mocha, I like mocha. Ooh, that looks nice. You wouldn't roll. Chocolate um, biscuit thing. Right, we're gonna get food before we get. Yes. Glazed coffee roll. Don't. Ooh, glazed coffee roll. That sounds good. Uh, I don't want. I don't want a dessert though. Yeah. Oh my god. Apple fritters. So nice. Right. Breakfast. Lunch. Ooh. Ooh fresh made salads. Get lost. What about breakfast? Where's the pizza? Pretzel croissant sandwich. Mm. Where's the pizza? Where's the junk food? You can always go for something healthy. What do you think I am? Let me have a look at breakfast, see what they've got on breakfast. Breakfast bowl, I quite like the sound of that, so you don't have to have all the bread. Mm. Signature recipe. Bacon and egg omelette. Egg white omelette, that, that's a bowl, that doesn't seem right. Hmm, no, what wasn't that? Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, Nick's not happy, we didn't realise. Pizza doesn't start till 4pm. You're gonna have to try... What you got those hoggies? Hoggies? Hot dogs. The hot dogs. What about a fruit bowl? I'd rather start. Right, order number 84. Nick doesn't want over here because we're going to go to a racetrack, but I fancy the bacon omelette bowl and a cold brew with a liquid immunity boost for a dollar, which is like vitamins and stuff. So it's like a vitamin tablet in a coffee. <laughs> yeah. So you don't pay for it here, you just order it and then you take this to the till with your food, presumably, and pay. Nick fancies something more unhealthy, don't you? Like a pizza a or a dog. hot dog. I want a hot dog. So they're making everything there. There's quite a wait, uh, quite a lot of people waiting. 
but there's quite a lot of people making things as well. Yeah, they're not making pizza, not till four. New Orleans kettle style Cajun dill gator tails. Mm. Wait, they are potato chips. Potato chips, they've just got a taste. Voodoo, voodoo ones, New Orleans. Nine dollars for all this. So you have to pay before you go and collect. Oh my god, nine dollars for that. <laughs> you know, I mean, an egg and an egg and a piece of bacon. Iced coffee. Well, that seems a bit steep to be honest for what it is. As you go into a racetrack, you never know, I might get my second course there. Well, I'm gonna get like I want a foot long hot dog or a piece of pizza. You wanna try some of this? No thanks. Now, I'm not just saying it, but that is probably the nicest iced coffee I've ever had. I put a bit half and half in it, and it's got that vitamin shot in it, so I don't know whether that's sort of put any taste to it or not, but it is uh, very nice. Oh, there's been an accident over there. Nick on the search for a foot long hot dog. <laughs> Damn well do. 199. What but what do you put them in? Oh look around there, there's different the ones. Oh so you get buns Ooh. below. So this is racetrack. What's these? Buffalo Ranch Chicken Roller Bite. Chicken roller bite. I think Nick's excited. Jalapeno and cheddar. Jalapeno Papa Tornado. Steak and cheese tornado, Southwest chicken. I might get one of these myself, you know. That uh, healthy thing that I had didn't really film it. What's this? Oh, breakfast link. What the heck is that? Pork tomato. 199, that's really good, isn't it? So you um... add a second item for only a dollar. Oh, well, I might get two then. It so when you put where's cheese and stuff like that, all, all your sauces are here. This is making me so giddy. And then there's all your little um, oh things in the middle, cheese and stuff. Is that? Oh, onions uh, maybe? That. Gherkins? That's too hot. Oh, we'll have that. I'm going to see what I want. I think I'm going to get one of these steak and cheese tornadoes. Steak and cheese tornado, please. Alright, hold on then. Here. So just grab one and pop it in the bag. There we go. Don't forget a drink as well if you want a drink. Okay. Milkshake for Nick. <laughs> He's very, very giddy as you can see. You don't want the malted one here. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Is it a malted? No. <laughs> now blending. They might do like proper real ones over there, you never know. Oh, well, have a look. How can I always get two? Although it was delicious, that iced coffee, I couldn't enjoy it because I was r rushing it so I could get into racetrack with Nick. So, what? Pizza as well? For the share. Milkshake pizza and a hot dog. Filth. Pure filth, absolute filth. Free and hell. So I'm getting a decaf coffee. I didn't want to try for this. So I go for a nice um, omelette, egg white omelette. That look like an omelette. <laughs> and now this bad. has happened. So, so um, how's your milkshake for starters? It's not malted. No, it's no, no. Nice. So I just got the normal hot dog and had the pizza as well. Here we go, let's try it. Well, it's just a hot dog, innit? Mm. With all those. No. How much was all that? You don't know? Oh. And you don't get a receipt? No. <clears throat> well, I'll be able to tell on me on me. Yeah, I've got a mask, you've got a message on I'll have a look in my That's like app. a pepperoni rather than a like a Westwood yeah. hot dog at home. It's like a spicy one. Right, I'm gonna try my steak roll. Which looks like that. Mmm. It's a little bit. It's like a pizza. Wanna try? Mm -mm. Wanna try? Mm -mm. Well, it's try not, a pizza. It's not mushy. Ooh. Got a bit of a kick as well to it. Mm. That looks a nice pizza, I've got to say. I was just missing some pineapples. It is, yeah. I'm pissed off. So when we've done here, we're gonna go to Lowe's, which is a little bit like Home Depot, like uh, B&Q or Wix. Now we've not been to one for a while. As you know, we're very fond of going to Wix and B&Q back at home. We're gonna just have a look to see if they've got any splash packs that we might like because um, we're still not convinced about that splash pack for Taylor. Like a stick on one we can take home with us maybe. Just gonna have a look. Because we noticed when we were in the villa that the wallpaper was like a peely sticky wallpaper, which would be perfect for the wall in the van. But for now, we're eating this. I just checked my curb card for the payment. All that from Racetrack was £8.62 or $10.44. And the one from Wawa, which was my egg thing and the iced coffee, $9.61, which was £7.94. I think I love racetrack more than I do Wawa. 
Wow Wow was limited oh. choice, but they had so much choice in there. They didn't do all the sandwiches, but they did loads of hot dogs and rolls and burritos and God knows what else. And the pizza was ready, you didn't have to wait till four o'clock. They did the shakes, slushies, Swirl World. I much prefer a racetrack. Well, I like Wow Wow meat. That iced coffee was amazing at Wow Wow's. Must have been the vitamin shot, just give it that extra oomph. Right, I'm not eating for the rest of the day, or at least for three hours until we get to Topolino Terrace. We might cancel it and change it for another day. We're off to Lowe's now. This is my Disney World. Lowe's are sort of B&Q or Home Depot type place. Look at these. <laughs> and uh, well, we don't have a lawn like that. Well, even if you did, you don't get them in the UK. Not in, not in B&Q. Oh, look at all the oh, Christmas stuff. God. Look at all the Halloween stuff here. Oh, look at these though. <laughs> Look at that, imagine having that in your garden. Christ, you cherry park kids, you've never been knocking on the door. Look at that, freaking hell, that's freaky. Is this all we've got left for Halloween? Well, maybe they sold that. Oh, look, they're all up at top, all the. Uh, oh, yeah. Where's. Um, Sanderson sisters. No, they ain't got them, have they? No. Look at the Dark Angel. Oh, yeah, freaking hell, 249. Oh, bloody hell, I like that. That's terrifying. <laughs> What's it made of? Look at these. Scary clown and uh, chainsaw. Mm. Mm. The range is not as big as I thought it would be. Maybe it's kind of like getting a bit too close to the sea. Maybe it? haunted mansion, haunted unicorn dragon. Hardly um, What's scary, this? is it? <laughs> Twenty percent off at the moment. Look at that giant skull. Oh my god. Let's got lighter pies. Yeah. Oh, that's good. $17? What is it? A flag? Oh, yeah, garden okay. flag. Yeah. Oh it, goes, oh, it goes out. It opens into twice the size. I like that. And then their uh, Christmas tree uh, range. Hello. That's a nice one. Mind you, it's got coloured lights. I prefer that if it were just warm white, but I like the snow effect. So uh, once we get back to the UK, imagine it's all like this back in the shops there. Christmas crazy. Just saying, oh look, they've got centicles. Let's, last year's UK ones smell like yeah. rank. Oh God. Do we need some? Yeah, but I'm not paying that price. Eight dollars. Smell that. Yeah, that is good. What's the flavor? It's the same as one we have, winter fur. Winter oh, fur. that smell amazing. You hang them on your Christmas tree and it makes your, your fake Christmas tree smell like a real Christmas tree. I mm, quite like that. That'd save us a lot of room if we just put a tree up like that. I would never have that. I wouldn't even have that in the van. Hmm. Oh, look at that peacock. Not very Christmassy though, is it, that? Peacock? Not very Christmassy, is it? You've got a dragonfly then. No, I said peacock. Christmas baby Yoda. What do you do? I don't know. You have to like... Turn it on or something? Oh, I'm off. I'm off. I don't know. Right, let's go look at what we came for. What's these? Oh. Oh, look at that. Santa, it climbs up. Hope oh, your yeah. Christmas tree. If I just inserted this into one of our van vlogs, you'd just think we're in uh, B and Q or, or uh, Wix, wouldn't you? Well, it's it's actually got Valspar. Is it's that... got Valspar. That's B and Q paint um, name. All oh, right. Oh, that's interesting. So it must be part of B and Q. Just looking at these peel and stick things. Why don't the UK have this? I'm sure they do with some, but where? But well, they don't have B and Q and stuff. No, that looks don't. heavy. I mean, that feels heavy. Should I say? That's one sheet as well. Yeah, that's heavy, very heavy. What about this one? Is this heavy? Oh yeah, bloody hell. No, That's heavy as well. Right, we can't really find anything in here. What's them? Oh, window films oh, to make your... Oh, no, um, it's wrong. Yeah, to make your uh, glass, like, screen. Uh, it's a shame. Yeah, can't really see anything else, unfortunately, in here. No splashbacky type things. What's these things? Oh, they're blinds. But yeah. uh, at least we looked. No maybe maybe Home Depot. Home, uh, what's the other one called? Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. That's weird. Mm. Right, it's a few hours later and it's um, quite black. dark. Uh, we are on our way to Topolino's at the top of the Riviera Resort Hotel. Um, so we'll be there in about 10 minutes and we'll show you what that's all about. It's been on our list to do for a long, long time, many years, and we've never got around to doing it, so we're going to do it tonight. A real, genuine American baseball game. In that Disney staff, though. How American. 
I'm not sure. We are on Disney property, I think. I think it's Disney so. College or something like that, but I'm mm -hmm. sure that's Disney staff. Maybe. That's playing it. Right, here we are, Riviera Resort. Mile, your yes, thank you, Google. We're right. already here. She's stupid. Look, somebody's got um, Halloween lights up on the balcony. Must have been for Christmas. No, it was Halloween because it was yellow. It's the first time we've ever drove into the Riviera. Well, you haven't been there a lot, yeah. driven, have we? It's a big hotel, that's for sure. You don't realise how big it is when you come, like, from Epcot into it from the other but side. You can only see, like, a small portion of it from the other side. Yeah. I must say, I'm hungry and I'm looking forward to this. I've not even looked at the menu. Me neither, I know nothing about it. French onion soup then. So the outside of the Riviera, we're just saying, it kind of reminds us of January temperatures. It's quite um, cool tonight, a little chilly. Ooh, I can smell cheese. <laughs> so we're making our way to the elevators to Topolino's. Number 10 then, Topolino's Terrace. Now the last time, we couldn't get number 10 to work. So this time... It should do. We'll get the annual pass out and now I'll give it a try on the... Uh, oh, there you go. So... Oh, I'm works without even scanning it. Eh? Oh yeah, it does. Mm, odd. Maybe it would be daytime last time or something like that or when the, when the restaurant will close, so I won't be kept. Oh, <laughs> maybe you've got to use it. How do we get up there? Yeah, it's oh, moving oh, now. Yeah. So did you have to scan that or what? I don't know. It just opened doors for some reason. Seated. We're just having a look through the menu. The lighting is very dim in here. It looks really bright on the camera. It looks bright on the camera, but it's not. So this is what the restaurant looks like. Again, it looks really bright on here, but it's not. You can't be struggling to see. Um, and we have got a wind of view looking down into the courtyard where we usually walk. And out there at nine o'clock is Epcot. And you can see the Epcot ball in the distance somewhere. Can you see it? Epcot ball? Anywhere? Uh, it's somewhere over there, and she said you can see the firewalls if we're the firewalls, the fireworks if we're here at nine o'clock. I don't think you can see Spaceship Earth, but you'll be able to see the fireworks. Well, you should be able to see Spaceship Earth. It's in front of it. Right, it's taken me a while to decide what I want because um, I didn't know what most of it was. Uh, but I finally chose a Noki or Noki and a Rigatoni. Um, so it's pasta and pasta for me. Nick's going for the filet mignon and, and the, the soup. soup. Yeah, and the lights are doing something a little bit weird with the camera in here. Um, so um, we were flickering. No, it's just doing weird things. Oh, that's fine now. So this is where we sat, as Nick said, and we just asked where Spaceship Earth is. I'm just going to go and show you. Um, it's actually, you can't see it. So there is the uh, swim pool. Spaceship Earth is just behind uh, here. So you'll be able to see the fireworks, but you won't be able to see Spaceship Earth. You can just see the skyliner there as well. And Tower of Terror is just over there. So they've just brought some um, hot, warm bread to the table and he's just um, poured out some olive oil in this um, little bowl in front of us. Let's have a look at it. Ooh, ooh. Bit fancy. That's a little bit fancy. What's in that? Just, olive just oil. oil. Olive oil, yeah. Just oil and bread? Yeah. No butter? No. Oil. It's posh, you know. Right, here is my gnocchi. Um, so that looks very nice, and this looks good. Nick's it's soup. It's fucking work of art, what's this? Yeah, well, that's like your bread? bread, isn't it? Or it's like a big cracker or something? It smells amazing, you can smell like... You can smell the red pepper, but you can smell the creme fraiche at the same time. I'm just gonna get a picture of it, as you do. Right, it's very strange. It tastes of cinnamon. Which is it's nice, because really I like cinnamon. Good. It's got little bits of meat. It's like hash brown. It's got like bits of steak in it, I think. Where's the knocky? Well, there. Oh, it's not like the knocky that we're used to then. It looks very rich. What's it taste like? Oh, it's lamb. It's lamb shoulder. All right. Little bits of meat and lamb shoulder. Here, try that a little bit. See if you think of that. Mmm. Damn, I really like it. It almost has a richness of black bean sauce. A little bit salty. Okay. Yeah, that's the black, that, yeah. that's what that black bean tasted. And yours? So this is like a sweet rye bread. It's very cinnamony and it collapses when you hold it. But the soup itself is like... Right? Light but greasy, if that makes sense. Quite an oily soup. Yeah. 
but it's really nice. You can taste the red pepper and the creme fraiche, definitely. So I've just been having a look at the terrace outside. The whole place reminds me of uh, this hotel's version of the um, California Grill, where you've got a nice, flashy little restaurant, a seating area outside um, for watching fireworks on the top of a building, then looking down into the courtyard below. Um, it's just amazing. Right, here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> we sat with the torch in your food. By Rigatoni. Is it Rigatoni? Yeah. Um, pasta. Go on, then, I'll let you have a try. Nick wasn't going to get this, but he, just, he changed his mind at the last moment. Oh, it's garlicky. Oh, my God, it's really I think garlic. it's truffle. I think it's a truffle sauce. Mm, and then, let's have a look at yours. I've got the filet mignon. Filet mignon. That sauce. Medium well. Is it a Jew I or gravy? So. Looks amazing. Ooh. Get some of that sauce. It cuts like butter. Put a bit of potato on it. Oh, melting your mouth. Literally like melting your mouth. I want to try it. I thought it might. So the last time we had a meal like this was in our cool seas back in 2019. Uh, or maybe Garden Grill, not Garden Grill, uh, California Grill when we went with Nikki, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, what Nick means by that is expensive. <laughs> well, there was more. There was one meal that was more expensive in Tampa, but that wasn't Disney. This, ooh, I wonder what that is. Fireworks going off out there. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, our friend Susan sat in that watching it now. Says she's freezing. <laughs> so, but did you enjoy it? It was amazing. It was the the the, the jus or the whatever you call it was really really rich uh, and quite beefy. It added to the meat flavour. It was delicious, all of it. Right then, let's have a look at what the cost of the bill is. Cheaper than Narcosis, let's put it that way. One. 141 dollars. Oh, actually, that is not as bad as I expected. No. Nope. Uh, 141 dollars. That includes um, annual pass discount, but no tip. Um. Right, here we go. You can just that see... Oh, you can't see it anymore. They've turned it off for the fireworks, but um, especially when it's just over there. See how good it is from Topolino Terrace. And uh, Skyliner Caribbean Beach Resort. Tower of Terror. Oh, here we go. Ooh, wow, look how far they go up. It's a good view, even if you're sat having your meal, as long as you've got a uh, window view, you can see all the fireworks. Quick look at the restaurant as we're leaving. And this is the bar area. So even if you sat in the bar, you can watch the fireworks from Epcot. You have to twist your treat now. No, we're not. Right, so we're just leaving. I'm just show you some of the photos that they've got um, in the corridors on Topolini, of, um, sorry, Riviera. Lots of different photos of Walt Disney. And I think, has Nick just gone in there? Oh, he's there. He's just having a look around the lounge. It's not Disneyland Paris, but like, like French, French, French yeah. yeah. Fake, fake books. Yeah. Well, they're not fake, they're just glued in. Yeah. Like, there's a comic here. Is that Disneyland Paris Castle? Uh, well, that's Disney Cruise. Mickey Sherashodor. <laughs> Jill, that's not easy. Walk into the car and you can still see all the fireworks. That's the lights. There we go, you can just see them there. It's a positively stuff. Me too, actually. We've not stayed for the whole fireworks because we saw it the other night. But it is a nice uh, view from up there to watch it. A whole new world. It's the wrong song. Oh no, they're singing that at the end. Sing it. Yeah, so shut yeah. up, you. No. Me. Next right onto East Buena Vista Drive. I do like the uh, Epcot fireworks. 
after this battle. At the end, they're very good. Is that the finale? Oh, I think that was the finale. Yeah. Welcome to the next day. So we enjoyed our Topolino's Terrace meal last night. It was very nice. It's a nice way to watch the fireworks without actually going into Epcot and... Even though you only watched three minutes. ...facing the crowds. Well, we'd seen it before. The food was very nice. And it wasn't quite as expensive as we thought it was going to be. We thought it was going to be a lot more expensive. I mean, it is an expensive Disney meal, but I don't think it was too bad, was it? Well, you can get cheaper. Let's well, yeah, of course you can. You can get out 192 or open International Drive or something. Which was well being eaten for the next week. Um, so, uh, it's actually our last day today. The last full day. Yeah, which is going to be on the next vlog. So we're going to finish the vlog now. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button. Click the notification bell. Drop us a comment below. We'll see you on our next vlog when it is our last full day in Florida. Goodbye.